This is the SteelSeries Arctis Nova Pro Wireless. It's one of the best wireless gaming headsets I've ever used, and man, does it look good. I've always liked the Arctis headset design. It's clean and simple, but premium at the same time. And it's compatible with PC, PS5, Nintendo Switch, Mac, and mobile via Bluetooth. It ships with two USB cables to connect to your audio sources, a 3.5 millimeter cable so you can use it in wired mode, a spare battery, a pop filter for the microphone, a carrying bag, some paperwork, and the wireless base station. Build quality looks good. There's no noticeable loose or rattling parts inside. Premium wireless headsets tend to be pretty heavy, and this one's up there, but it's not the heaviest I've tested, coming in around 340 grams. It's not a big deal for me that they went with plastic for the build because they did a really good job with it. Like I said, it feels really solid and well made, but I do wish they used some metal on the headband extensions, hinges, and yokes. These are all the moving parts. You've got your tilt and swivel on the ear cups and telescopic extension on the headband. If a headset's gonna break, it's probably gonna be in one of those spots. So it's always nice to see some metal reinforcement, but we just don't have that here. So we're just gonna have to hope that doesn't cause any problems for long-term use. Ear cushions are leatherette or pleather all the way around, inside and out, and during my time with them I found them hot and sweaty. No surprise there, that's kinda how it goes with this material. But comfort is top notch. These things are just so soft and squishy and they don't cause any pain or strain on or around my ears. If there's a such thing as premium leatherette cushions, these are it. I don't wear glasses, but I did throw on a pair of sunglasses just to test it out and it was still super comfortable. So I think this is even a good choice for people who wear glasses. One of the signature features of an Arctis headset is the stretchy elastic headband. It's made a nice thick padded fabric material and basically functions as a suspension system. And it's removable, which is great for cleaning. Plus it can be moved to a different set of posts providing an extra level of adjustment. Altogether, this elastic headband and the squishy ear cups make this the most comfortable headset I've ever used. If comfort's your top priority, these are worth looking at. All the main controls are on the left ear cup, there's power on and off, microphone mute, and a volume control wheel. You've also got a 3.5mm jack on there for connection in wired mode, and the retractable microphone. Notice I said retractable and not removable. The mic lives permanently inside the ear cup and extends outward, and it's super flexible which makes it really easy to get into a good position in front of your mouth. Then it just retracts back into the ear cup when you don't need it. This is a pretty cool alternative to a fully removable mic. It still lets you get it out of the way when you don't need it, but prevents you from ever losing it, which is nice. And also, the mic glows red when it's muted, so you can easily tell when you're live. If we pop off the magnetic cap on this side, there's a USB-C port in there. This lets you plug in and charge hardwired and also update the firmware. Over on the right side, there's not as much going on. You've got one single button for Bluetooth, and if we pop this cap off, we get access to the battery compartment. This is a huge feature. It basically eliminates any worry of running out of power. When the battery gets low, you just pull it out and drop in the spare, and you're good to go again with a full charge. There's no need to worry about quickly plugging in to gain a little bit of charge to finish your game, although there is a quick charge function that you can use where like 15 minutes of charge will get you three hours of playtime. Fully charged, each battery is rated to last 18 to 22 hours. Altogether, this means there's no reason you should ever be running out of juice. It's wireless convenience without the downside of limited power. Moving on to the base station, this thing has line in and out and two USB-C ports that'll let you get connected to two different sources. So you can have these set up with your PS5 and PC at the same time without having to move any hardware around. From the display, you can adjust the volume, chat mix, you can swap inputs, select EQ presets or customize your own, adjust the gain, toggle ANC, set transparency, change mic volume, and yeah, the list goes on. It's a very detailed base station, but it's really easy to navigate with just a press of the wheel to select and then it's just some scrolling back and forth through the options. And then there's a little touch sensitive button on the screen to take you back. Around the side, you'll find the battery charging compartment. You just take your spare battery, plug it in the slot, and that's it and the display will show you the charging status so you're gonna know when it's ready to go again. Sounds being delivered by a set of 40 millimeter drivers and out of the box, they're really not that impressive in terms of sound quality. That's where the software comes in. Fire up the SteelSeries GG app and go over to the Sonar tab. This is where the magic happens. This is the most advanced sound control software I've ever seen for a gaming headset. The level of customization and control that you have is crazy. You can map different apps to specific EQ curves and have different settings for your games, media, chat, and video or sound editing, for example. That lets you tweak the audio experience in each application. And once it's mapped, it'll just automatically route the audio through that channel so that you can just launch a game and it'll have your gaming settings. Then you can jump out and watch a video and it'll have your media settings. It's pretty awesome. Since this is a gaming headset, let's focus in on the gaming audio experience. 
Again, super flat and unimpressive out of the box, but with the settings dialed in, it's like night and day. You can hear everything, including the small details, no problem. I couldn't believe the directionality these things have. That might be the most impressive part when it comes to the gaming audio with the Nova Pro. However they design these drivers, it's almost as good as native surround sound. And that's without any of that virtual surround sound stuff enabled, which these do have by the way. In Apex Legends, for example, I could hear close by enemies so clearly that I could get ready for where they were going to appear and then start shooting the second they were visible. That's what you want with a gaming headset. You want that like ultra rich detail that gives you any kind of competitive advantage that you can reasonably get without being like a total cheater. And I think this delivers that. So as long as you're willing to spend some time setting up profiles in Sonar, the gaming audio experience with these is very good. Now moving on to the microphone, what you're listening to right now is the default profile. It's not even a profile really. It's the raw audio coming straight from the headset being recorded onto the computer. So this is the basically what you can expect from this thing if you don't use any of the software. So much like the speakers, you really want to take advantage of that software to make this thing uh, work at its best basically. But what I will say is the Sonar software doesn't have as drastic of a difference as it did with the speakers when it comes to the microphone that is. So what we can do is jump into the menu here and pick from some of these presets now I already went through all of them and I picked a few that I think sound the best so uh, this is the default one like I said I also kind of like broadcast low pitch so if I switch to that one that's what this is gonna sound like and then I also like I like a bassier kind of sound almost like a podcast so that's what deep voice sounds like you put that on it kind of brings out the bass a little bit for you and then if we go down here to less nasal I think this one sounds pretty good as well so if you take advantage of that sonar software, it can bring the microphone quality up a little bit, but doesn't have as much of a difference as you'd expect based on what I said about the speakers. But I mean, it's better than nothing. And overall, I think it does sound pretty good, but it's got those bandwidth limitations. At the end of the day, it's a wireless microphone on a wireless gaming headset. It's just not as gonna sound as good as a wired or you know dedicated setup for audio recording, like a desktop USB mic or something like that. Even with all the stuff we just talked about, the Nova Pro still has one more trick up its sleeve, and it's the Active Noise Cancellation, or ANC. The way I like to test ANC is to get really close up to my PC with the GPU running and all the fans and the radiator spinning with some kind of load going on so it's nice and loud, and then I flip ANC on and see the difference. I'd say the ANC performance with the Nova Pro is about the same as other wireless gaming headsets that have that function. It's really like not over the top, it's not what you're going to get out of an audiophile designed headset, but it is good and it does make a difference. In my example with the loud PC, ANC doesn't eliminate the noise, but it does reduce it to a much lower level. So depending on your situation and how much noise you have going on around you, I think this feature can really help you focus on what you're doing. Just don't expect it to sound like you're in a soundproof room. The Arctis Nova Pro Wireless is one of the most feature-packed gaming headsets I've ever used. Its sound quality isn't that impressive out of the box, pushing users to dive into the software to take advantage of everything it has to offer. But man, once you do that, it's one awesome gaming peripheral. It's a flagship product, so don't expect it to be cheap. But if you want a top-tier gaming headset that's jam-packed with features, this one's worth considering. I'm going to have more specs and details for you down in the description along with some purchasing links. Make sure you check that stuff out. Give the video a thumbs up and get subscribed for more content, and we'll see you soon.